That's another 5,000. I mean, how fast can they do for this entire state when it's all said and done with? It's going to be days and days without power for so many people. Millions. Jeff? really will. Phil Keating live in Miami, Florida Power and Light, uh, warning that in many instances it will be quite a long time before all of that power can be restored. 1.8 million without power officially. Now they're expecting up to 3.4 million before it's all over with. The storm's headed generally northbound. That means it'll go through uh, Naples and Collier County, then up through Lee County, Fort Myers and Cape Coral. Lehigh Acres, continuing north through Charlotte County. Eventually, it'll get up to the Orlando and Tampa region. Our Bill Hemmer's in Orlando now. Bill? Shepard, good afternoon again. Orlando, and then you move up to where? Tallahassee, Jacksonville, Atlanta, then who knows where the damage is inland. Um, we have been uh, talking to a lot of people uh, who had to leave their homes amid a lot of anxiety. And they are inside of a hotel here. <laughs> You can hear the wind whistling, really blowing there in Collier's Reserve. Jeff, thanks so much for sending us that. We don't see any damage in his video here, just to be sure for people who are holed up in that area of Collier County right now. But the wind is really blowing, and you can just hear it whistling oh, yeah. and howling. Absolutely. Let's go to Golden Good Estates. Um, and we do have, in this case, some, a tree down. Um, this is from 1245, so this is a couple of hours old already, and this is right near the uh, Collier County Fairgrounds. So if you know that general area, Robert De La Rosa is sending us this at 1245, and it looks like a palm tree, and you don't often see those unless there's some circumstance because they, they're in deep. But The ground could be saturated yeah. and makes that a little bit more, or if it's newly planted, newly planted you know. Newly planted is usually yeah. the big one. Yeah. Let's go to uh, some video from Marco Island. This is from Yvette Benaroche, and uh, we thank you for sending this to us, Yvette. We believe this was probably earlier because Marco Island is really getting hammered right now. Uh, but this, what we're looking at here on the screen, if you can't see this picture, is she's looking through her lanai and uh, the... The rain has just pounded it. It's almost like you can't see through the screen because there's just so much rain falling and so much water. But uh, that's our, one of our few pictures we're getting in from Marco Island today. All right, let's bring Chief Meteorologist Tim Farrell uh, in to track Irma for us. Nothing has happened so far that was not expected, mm -hmm. right? We said Sunday is going to be the wild ride of your life. It is happening now. There is much more to go. But nothing has happened that we did not expect. An eye wall is now we coming go. across Marco the wind Island. Gusts look like. And shortly on Marco Island, Florida, uh, they will be in the eye of the storm, the Hurricane Irma. It's 3 o'clock in southwest Florida. I'm Shepard Smith in New York, and this is Fox News Channel's continuing coverage of Hurricane Irma. The interim update from the National Hurricane Service is just in. As of 3 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, the, the storm is moving now at 12 miles an hour in a northward direction. Minimum pressure is up to 936 millibars, so it is uh, decreasing in strength, if ever so slightly, and the maximum sustained winds right, are now John 100. In Miami, where Hurricane Irma has just been pounding us for hours and hours and hours. All right, I'm Chris Cuomo in Naples. Uh, we have been waiting to see what Irma would do to the West Coast. There are vulnerable areas here, and we're starting to see it right now. There are reported gusts of in excess of 80 miles an hour. The situation has changed here. There's now a significant debris. <laughs> been hours of punishing rain. We have seen this phenomenon uh, with Hurricane Irma where the energy is given and the energy is taken away. The water that should be here on the Gulf side of Naples is gone and we're waiting for it to come back in the form of storm surge and people here are very worried about that. Well, what that will mean. The good news is most of this place, according to the city manager, of about 19,000 normal residents have evacuated. They believe two-thirds have done so. Now the question is what will the rest of the people encounter for that let's get to chad myers chad what is your timing and what should we expect here and along the west coast and parts north marco island getting it right now the northern eye wall chris you are less than 20 minutes from there as the eye wall moves north at 12 miles per hour the white area is still the area that's going to pick 100 mile per hour winds 
over 10 second period. It's a gust, 100 mile per hour gusts, right over Fort Myers, right over Sarasota, Anna Marie Island, right through Pinellas, and all the way through Hillsborough County, going to get bump in the night kind of wind. Things are gonna be flying around because it's gonna be dark. You're gonna hear it, but you won't know what it hit. You won't know if it hit your window or not. Stay on the side of your home that's not facing the wind, especially if you don't have storm shutters up, because that's going to be the safest side. Shingles are going to fly off roofs today, and they're going to break windows, and you don't want to be anywhere near that flying glass. There will be some flooding, but that's not truly the issue. The issue today is the wind on the west side and the flooding on the southwest side. There's the eye wall making landfall again. It made landfall in Kudjo Key in the south key the lower keys earlier today already and that storm surge has not come into effect and they're worried about how many of the structures how they'll fare over time what are they looking at in terms of a window you know i just tweeted out a man who was on marco island